hello welcome back again in the last video we've seen how to pass uh, how to create a pa uh, web page a uh, view and pass a, a model to this page and bind the model to this page and show the results on uh, our navigation so in this video I will we will see how to make this view interact with data that is that is actually stored in the our database so what we will do is this we will create a model create we need a, a package we will name it mean model with model and we will create a model for example uh, let's say uh, we have some something refactor we need. Yes, the Helene web model, and we will add uh, a class here. Uh, let's make a model like uh, products, products, for example, just for a uh, and this should take the since we are creating a model that will be a table in the database so we need the entity entity annotation and this model need an id with the annotation uh, private long ID and we will specify the generated value the generated generated value and this too so ID prevent private name name for example name private string name private for example end price so we that's all we, what we need now we'll do we generate some setter and getters. This is our model. Uh, what we need uh, to is to create uh, something that's a JPA repository, so we can access this model. Uh, create another. I will create another package. Package here. I will name it com dot dot web dot dot o and I will create an interface it's just an interface I will name it products repository and this will extend extends GP GPA repository GPA repository GPA repository yes and this will take our products products and our ID is long long of tape long and we will do nothing we'll keep it just like that and here in the the controller we don't need this so we do uh, wait we need to tell spring that is this is a repository yeah. 
and the, in the product controller we will inject it inject it using auto wired annotation provide product product repository products repo so we can access our and here we will create a product product products we name it P it can be U product product and this P should should be this product repository should be here find 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 all let's find uh, what this add cast to product the find all find this return a list so find all will return a list and uh, we want it just to be just the one products and we get here the p product and here will be our actual products so here we need to show our product text uh, this will be product name in the another h1 for example products price price if we let's run this the application So after the running the application, we Hibernate will JPA and Hibernate will create product table in, for us in the, our database automatically. So we need to open this. You see. see the create create a table wait for our uh, dev server to load if we did we will see nothing because we have we don't have any products in our uh, what why why it does give this error so I had the the error because I I was uh, I was uh, assigning the the product to uh, product repository uh, find by all find by all mean it will find all the the product in the database so it return a, a less number of products so that was the problem so so I'm, I'm just trying to fetch just one one product which is the use the, the method find by ID and we give the ID here one and if you see here 
the Hibernate created the, uh, the table for us and if I'm gonna insert a product there uh, operation let's insert the manual Man uh, ID product I'm gonna add I'm gonna start the video and add some so I created a pro uh, product here which is a, a computer with ID 1 and price 100 so let's see if we rerun the application and see if we get this into our view so is running so we get the computer and the price if we see here what we see here if we see in the console we can see the select product from so that was it for for this video and see you next time bye